Welcome back to our channel guys. Thank you very much for joining us. On today's video, we're going to teach you how to make this beauty step by step. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys, it's your boy Mario, AKA Mr. Wee Balloons. We're gonna go ahead and get started with this Ikea lamp, which is perfect for this project as it is very inexpensive. It's around 10 or 12 Canadian dollars. And all we're gonna use is the base and the pipes that come with it. We're gonna start off with a base of balloons comprised of four 16 or 17 inch balloons, uh, whichever you may have around. This is one of the two key steps in this entire process as it's gonna help give the entire arrangement balance which it's crucial because it's gonna have a teddy bear that's gonna put a lot of weight on it, especially on the front end of the entire setup. We're gonna continue with another quad. This one's gonna have one 16 or 17 inch balloon with three 11 inch balloons. And then once I wrap it around the pipe, as you can see, I'm twisting two balloons a couple of times. I'm gonna go ahead and push these down um, right through the pipe to make sure that they're nice and tight towards that bottom quad. Again, you just want to make sure that they're tight. You don't want to push that 16 inch quad all the way down to the floor either. It's going to make the entire arrangement a little bit more unstable. We're going to go with another quad of 11 inches. I don't put it all the way up just yet. Kind of leave it at the middle of the pipes. And then I'm going to come up with another one uh, that has a 16 inch balloon with three 11 inch balloons. Some of you may wonder how we distribute our colors. The way that you distribute your colors is gonna depend on the amount of colors that you have and on personal taste, and sometimes on trends. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and push up almost to the top of the pipe, not all the way, but close to the top, fairly close. I'm gonna push that bottom one up. Again, we're gonna try to keep a nice tight fit between the two quads. We're gonna be adding this 36 inch balloon. It's inflated to 28 inches. And what I'm gonna do is before I actually tie a knot on it, I inflated it with air. Doesn't need any helium. I'm gonna tie this knot, but before I tie the knot, I'm going to add a 260 to the knot. So before I close the knot, I'm actually gonna pinch the middle of the, or the center of the 260. I'm gonna close the knot and I'm gonna make sure that the 260 is pretty much hooked in, into the knot. We like to cut off the necks uh, just to make sure that they're not so visible. Uh, sometimes there are gonna be small gaps uh, from any angle. Somebody could be standing or sitting on, on the side or uh, behind it and you don't want them to see that neck sticking out especially when it's got a a pink balloon that sticks out like a sore thumb now i'm going to wrap the two ends of the 260s one coming around on the right side and the other one coming around on the left side and then i'm going to tie a couple of knots uh, one is not enough one can come undone very easy especially during transportation so two sometimes three just to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere that 260 keeps the 36 inch balloon very nice and tight to the two quads at the top of the pipe and this is alex hello guys now we're going to make this arrangement a lot fuller we're going to incorporate our teddy bear and before uh you're going to go and place your teddy bear where you want it uh, we normally do it on top of the balloons and I kind of see where the attachment point needs to be so the head is um, nice and straight. I'm going to take like a piece of the back of the head without the stuffing, okay? And we're going to wrap a 260 around it. There is a technique where you use a bead or something like a piece of uh, balloon or something in between like the part that I'm pinching right now um, is to prevent the 260 to slip out but this um, this part that I'm grabbing is pretty thick so um there is absolutely no need to add anything else okay you're gonna see here where I'm holding the teddy bear from the top and you'll see that the 260 is pretty secure and that's all we need Aside from this attachment point that we're doing right now in the back of the head, we will do another one at the bottom. So you will see what is the closest part at the bottom of the teddy bear that's um, the closest part to the pole, to the, to the lamp. 
and then you will another attachment point right there as you can see um, this teddy bear is very heavy and just with this uh, 260 is pretty secure so absolutely no need to add anything else now regarding the black lamp um, you can be very creative and try to cover that if you want we're gonna cover this with balloons so um, I'm not going to incorporate anything more um, I can show you on a future video if if you guys want to see how we get the options of how we cover that um, but you can see here that we attach this teddy bear at the head and the bottom and it's pretty pretty sturdy um, it will become a little more wobbly once we start adding more balloons to the top and then we're going to show you exactly how to fix that. I like creating a base for this arrangement uh, as you saw at the beginning of the video, placing my teddy bear and then building around it. I think is for me personally the best way to make sure that it looks full the way I want it and I like the shape that is getting if you make it too full from the beginning then you're not gonna have enough room to place your teddy bear um, like making it looks nice so we create this fillers as we call them um, and then it's just two quads tied together with half of a 260 you go and you wrap them around one of the balloons on one side in this case we started with the right side and then what we do so they're not too loose is that we get one balloon from one quad and then another balloon from the second quad and we twist those balloons Now we're gonna do the same on the other side. Again, the 260, we just wrap it around one balloon. And sometimes I just wrap it around two balloons if I can. And now here you see how I pointed the two balloons that I was gonna twist. And that way they're not gonna move. Now I will always recommend that you step back, look on your phone. That's what I was doing just now. Um, look on your phone and look at the shape of the balloons make sure that you like everything and if you don't then just go back and move things around until you're happy It looks pretty good to me at this point so I'm gonna start incorporating the mini fillers which is the same idea as we previously added the fillers a quad and a duplex tied with half of a 260 but this time we're only using five inch balloons um, we like using five inch 11 inch and 16 inches um, inflated to different sizes so we for this type of arrangements we do not use the nine inches I'm very happy how the top is looking so now I'm just gonna move to the bottom and we're gonna start on the left I'm adding my big filler the same way that we did previously uh, make sure you twist those two balloons to keep everything in place then we're gonna add the mini fillers Now as the arrangement gets bigger, you're gonna notice that it's gonna get a little wobbling. So we're gonna have to add a weight. I'm gonna link a video, or I'm gonna add it in the description below where you can see how exactly we make those uh, weights. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. We're gonna add our big fillers, then we're gonna add our small fillers, the five inches. So as you can see, is it's just 
is a simple arrangement to do. It does require a little bit of a technique, but I'm showing you exactly what we did. So we created the base, we added the fillers on the left, on the right, on the top side, and then we did the same thing on the bottom, left and right, and that's all you do. So you add more fillers as you feel you need to, depending on your style, depending on the design, depending on how big you want this arrangement. Um, if I wanted this even bigger, this is a pickup. So it's pretty, pretty big for a pickup. Uh, but if I, let's say I was gonna deliver this and the client wanted it even bigger, then I will probably be doing like a guardless style. What I'm doing here is do preparing a smaller filler. So just the two balloons tied with half of a 260 and then I will just go and tie the 260 to it. So I didn't like how that, do you see where I'm placing that smaller filler? I didn't like that gap there. So I wanted to look a lot fuller and that's why I just added those two balloons. I felt that four balloons would have been too much and one balloon wasn't enough. So you're gonna add your fillers as you feel uh, that you need them and depending again on your style. We're gonna do the same on the other side, but right here, look at the difference between the right and the left. So that gap is exactly what I was trying to fix. And now you can see here that the weight of the overall arrangements, specifically the, the weight of the teddy bear, is pushing the entire arrangement forward. So we're going to finish this and we're gonna add the weight. We make our own weights and on the previous video that we posted how to make a pool balloon arch, we show you the step-by-step -step how to create this weight right here. So if you need help or a different alternative, uh, make sure to check that out. Now see how I push this arrangement here and it's not gonna go anywhere because we just added that weight at the bottom. Now I just wanted to take a minute to talk about our signature program. It's called We Balloon Stripe and we just opened that program a few times in the year. So be sure to sign up for the wait list so you are the first to be notified. Inside the program we teach you everything that you need to know about balloons from the very beginning so you can start or you can scale uh, a profitable balloon business and we focus on your technique making sure that you have a beautiful product to offer and also on how to sell it how to attract the right type of client and how to sell it to your clients so you can profit um, now just a few tips about your vinyl I like starting with the biggest word first as you saw here I did grade two first then I add the top and the bottom whatever other words I have but the main um, like the main word will always go first and I also like to have my balloon against the wall so when I put pressure it's a lot easier and the other question that I get a lot is what brand of vinyl I use and I like all the Cricut products. Uh, right here at the end, I'm just adding um, orbs, those very beautiful mini orbs, rose gold, and the other one is called white gold because my client had asked specifically for those. And so I just added at the, at the end, at the very end. So every time that you're just gonna add like a fancy balloon, uh, you add it at the very end. We thought this arrangement turned out spectacular. Our client loved it. Please let me know your thoughts. I wanna hear from you. What was your favorite part? And if you're gonna try to do something similar. And as usual, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. So that's how you can support our channel. And if you haven't, connect with us on social media. Check out We Balloons on Instagram. And this is the final part, guys. I hope that you loved it and enjoyed as much as we enjoyed making this video for you. And please tag me on Instagram. Or send me a message. Send me a picture of what you did. If you got some ideas here, I know you can do even better than what we did today. So I'll see you on the next video. Peace.